My name is Alan Muhumza and I'm the business development manager at Kira Motors Corporation and we are excited to be here at Africana Hotel and we're here to showcase Uganda's finest in automotive manufacturing and engineering, the Kayola EVS. The Kayola EVS is a purely electric uh, city low flow bus that uh, is fitted with uh, a battery, a power battery back as well as a motor for traction, giving you a range at full charge of 300 kilometers. It's fitted with state-of-the-art infotainment as well as safety features within and without the bus to ensure that uh, the passengers on board are safe and will reach where they're going in one piece and are comfortable on the ride. It has a capacity of 90 people, 49 seated and 41 standing and we are hopeful that this device, this mobility device will go a long way in addressing the mobility challenges we have in Uganda right from uh, congestion, tra transport-based carbon emissions, climate change, the infrastructure. And we see how, as Ugandans, we can create a, a comprehensive total solution for mass mobility within uh, the country that we can also uh, export to other countries uh, across the borders of Uganda. In February this year, and by June 2021, this plant should be up and running and ready for production. However, in the meantime, as that is being ready, we worked with partners uh, in China to build this bus, to develop the, the requisite skill, and then came back home and are currently working with Luero Industries Limited, Nakasongola, to build a second bus like this one. As we build the capacity, not just of our engineers, but also the other private sector, who should be in the end able to supply us with the different parts, components, that feed into this bus. Endowed with a wealth of natural resources. We have iron ore, which you can use to convert into steel. We have uh, silica, uh, the sand around Lake Victoria, which can be used to make glass and one of the finest. You know, we have uh, our graphite, uh, cobalt, which can be used to make lithium iron batteries. We have our hide skins, our banana fiber that can be used to make the body or the interior upholstery. So there is potential in terms of the natural resources we have. Now it's how do we convert that natural resource into finished products. And we already have companies that are already doing some work in the automotive industry. Majors might not be directly on the tier 1, 2 or 3 suppliers of parts, but maybe after sales like batteries, paints. And these already can be integrated in the manufacturing process. Now when you look at the bus like this, the body, the chassis, the frame can actually be made here. And that's why we're working with the different partners, rural industries, for example, for the second bus, to see how we can position them to supply us with parts. Because for us, we see the bus as an opportunity for Ugandans, not just to utilize our natural resources, but also to create jobs, which are so dearly needed, as we also develop the entire value chain and do all the value here. Local content participation is key.
is very comfortable. Actually, when I got in, when you look at the finishes, they are good. They have to standard. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't go a long distance, but you could see that it is, it is riding very smoothly. So it is a good product, and it is the beginning. I'm told we can make uh, six a month, which I think is a very good start. Hmm. We need the buses. That is part of it. But we need the infrastructure to decongest Kampala. We need like a, a special lane for the buses. So even if we have a thousand buses, when we don't have that infrastructure in place, we will not be, we will not put anything. But it is good to know that the buses are now can be made in Uganda or assembled in Uganda. So now City Council plans on the infrastructure, the road, the special lane for BRT. And these buses can also work at the airport. As you can see, the clearance is low. They can also be utilized at the airport. They are not for up country. By that time, we will have prepared the, the road network within the city. And uh, actually, that one is also being done. So that um, when we have put the, the special lane in place, and also marked out, but they are already marked out. It's just that we are waiting for funding, and then we'll be able to, we'll, we will not have to buy buses.